But what she didn't understand that she was part of God's plan. Amen. And she was part of God's plan because God used her character. Mm -hmm. And her daughter-in-law Ruth recognized the value in her mother-in-law. Come on somebody. Yes. And she recognized the value to the point where she said to Naomi, she said, I ain't going nowhere. I'm staying with you. Right. He said, your people going to be mine. Right. And she said, because you know in the, in, the, in the country of Moab, they worship false gods. Mm -hmm. But she said, I'm not going back to those false gods. Mm -hmm. She said, I'm staying here with you, mama and law, because I recognize the God to serve. Right. And every now and then, we ought to live such a life that we recognize the benefits of another person spiritually in our lives to the point where we are willing to stay where they stay. Amen, somebody. Go where they go. Why? Because after a while, God's purpose is going to be fulfilled. Yes. And surely, Mama Law has some tips and some pointers mm -hmm. to give to Ruth. Yes. Told her to go bathe, mm -hmm. wash yourself real good, All right. put on some perfume. And she said, go, go, go lie down, mm -hmm. Lord have mercy, at the foot of Boaz. That's some tips she gave her. First of all, she, she told her to go, uh, amen, go, go. She, she, Ruth recognized the value of the wisdom of Naomi. Sometimes we got to recognize the value and wisdom in other folk. To tell us, and she did exactly. She went and she got into the barley harvest. She went down there. She she was she was picking up stuff. Boaz on the field. Amen. Somebody uh, and she was working, and he watched her. Amen. Somebody was watching her, and she she was doing her thing. Uh, amen. She was being who she is. Amen. Somebody. She didn't have to be false. She didn't have to pretend. Who? Come on, somebody. But she was being who she is. And and then somebody. I thought I want to tell somebody. Just be who you are. Come on, somebody. You ain't got to change to get no man. Right. Just be who you are. You don't have to change to get no woman. Just be who you are. And guarantee you, the person that's worth your salt is going to notice you. And Boaz surely noticed Ruth. And Naomi gave us some wisdom along the way. But this whole passage, as I close, is really about emptiness. Going from emptiness to fullness. See, right now, a lot of you are thinking that you're empty. And Naomi, obviously, she was, she felt, she said, the Lord, she said, the Lord, and I know she was really speaking through emotions because she did not understand she said, the Lord is dealing bitter with me. And when, mm -hmm. when, they, when she went back home, they were calling her Naomi. Mm -hmm. She said, don't call me Naomi. Right. She said, call me Mara. Because right. Mara means bitter. She said, the Lord has dealt bitterly with me. Sometimes that's how we feel yes, when we're going through difficulties. Yes. We sometimes feel like the Lord is dealing heavily with us. But I want you to know something. It is not that God is dealing bitterly with you. It is that God is trying to be a blessing to you. And God is looking at your situation. He said, I'm going to use that situation to bring about my purpose. And in the midst of her losses and the losses of Naomi and Ruth and all God. Here comes a blessing. And that blessing was Jesus Christ. Because Ruth is a messianic book about Jesus and him coming on the scene. Because as I've said to you before, they end up having a child named Obed. Obed had a son named Jesse. And Jesse ended up having eight boys. And one of them was David. Y'all know David, amen. And many times to the book of Matthew, because Matthew writes to a Jewish audience. And he, even in the lineage of Matthew chapter 1, you'll find 
roof in there and you find as he names the lineage of the, the, the people that Jesus came through a man the Bible said the David of the mention in there because God wanted everybody to know that even before uh, amen God had uh, amen uh, even before uh, they came uh, into this situation God already had a solution to come on somebody I want every child of God in here to know that it doesn't matter what you're going through God already has a situation he already has a solution rather towards your situation you just need to be still and know that he is God he just need to stay with the Lord he need to, need to thank the Lord every day that you get up right? because you know that your life he is going to fulfill the purpose for which God had designed it every now and then we ought to thank God for Jesus Christ uh, because it is true Ruth and Naomi and Boaz that Jesus came down uh, 42 generations and Jesus came down and died for our sins. Uh, I don't know about you today but I'm glad that he came and died for my sins. Amen. I'm glad that he died because he died uh, so that I could have the, 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 the opportunity to make it to heaven. Amen. Somebody every now and then ought to walk down the street, drive down the street and praising God for Jesus Christ. I ought to thank him every day because I know that without him I would not be where I am today. I ought to get up in the morning and learn how to praise the Lord. The first thing ought to come out of your mouth when you get up every morning and not fussing and fighting about this or that, but you ought to learn how to pray and thank the Lord for giving you another day. You ought to learn that the first thing that ought to come out of your mouth is thank you Jesus for waking me up today because had it not been for you on my side I would not be where I am today. Every child of God ought to be glad that Jesus came and died for your sins. It is through the blood of Jesus that I'm able to access forgiveness. Amen. It's through the blood of Jesus that I'm able to access forgiveness and redemption through his blood. Aren't you glad today that you got redemption, that you're saved, sealed, and sanctified? Why? Because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Every day you get up, you ought to be thanking God for the blood of Jesus Christ. I may not have every money that I need come on somebody when I have Jesus amen somebody and I have the blood of Jesus and when I mess up I can go to God anytime I get ready and I can ask God to forgive me of my sins it doesn't matter who don't want to forgive me of my mess ups as long as I have the Lord on my side I'm able to get up every morning I'm able to praise him I'm able to come to church and I'm able to give I'm able to worship him. I'm able to tell him, I'm thank you, Lord, for whatever you're doing in my life. I thank you for every blessing. Stand up, I'm through, I'm through.